Um, she's 17 years old from Wainui Mata High School. Um, she's from Nazi Kirai Kahanunu. Uh, she's in the senior English section and her topic is Being the Leader of Tomorrow Begins Today. Um, her favourite subjects are history, classical studies and geography and the extracurricular activity she takes is she's a school prefect, a peer mentor and toastmasters. And her future plans is to study law and history, the future and Maori law. So, a round of applause for her. Plans. Become the leaders of tomorrow, we must combine both worlds in order for our people to flourish in a better tomorrow. Te na kotou katoa. As a young Māori woman, the very essence of being Māori are my ancestors and my culture. It is of the utmost importance that I have a strong understanding of who my tipuna were, what they achieved and accomplished, and most significantly, the role they had within my life. For their mana was derived from their land, the families they raised, and their whakapapa. They had sacrificed a great deal for us in the hope that one day their descendants would rise up and protect <coughs> the errors of the past. That we would harvest the knowledge of the Pākehā world and use it to aid our people. From them we must take the knowledge that we cannot stand on our finger without acknowledging our tupuna. That we could never lead our country if we do not acknowledge that from them we came. They have given us the foundation from which we can become the leaders of tomorrow. It is our culture which best defines us. This precious Tonga has guided Māori for centuries and will lead us into the future. In the 1800s, when the Pākehā arrived in Aotearoa, hoping to colonise New Zealand, they believed that we, the Māori, would assimilate into European culture. That alongside our land, we would sacrifice the essence of being Māori. This did not happen. For our tipuna knew the importance of culture in one's life. For with our culture, we are hollow. With our culture, we are mere skeletons of the people. We once were. When Sir Apirana Lata was elected into Parliament in the 1900s, never once did he sacrifice his culture. Never once did he disregard who he was in order to gain an equal footing with his European <coughs> colleagues. He encouraged Maori to be fluent in the reo and to participate in traditional waiata and haka and most importantly, to gain an education. He was able to combine the knowledge of both worlds whilst holding on to the <coughs> mana of being Maori whilst he stood on his finger. With the knowledge of whom he was and whence he came, his culture remained intact. He is one of the many true leaders of Maori. <coughs> like Hapitipu, we are young, intelligent Maori students. We strive for education and pursue excellence in ways that differ from our ancestors. They excelled in the arena of warfare. They were exceptional orators. They were able to adapt their lifestyles around their rapidly changing environment. Atipuna knew the importance of education and the opportunities that followed. To become the leaders of tomorrow, we must gain education. For education opens the doors of the park of our world and allows us to harvest the opportunities and reap the rewards for our diligence. Education allows us to preserve the tongue of being Māori, to uplift our tipuna and uplift our people. 
Education lets us shatter the statistics that claim that we as mold are only ever capable of failing. <coughs> Education is the key to changing the tides for our people. We are the leaders of tomorrow. Therefore, it is our responsibility and opportunity to begin today. We are preparing ourselves to embark on a journey that will test our inner strength. There is no time to fathom and rest. We must strive onwards. <coughs> we must preserve the power that is our culture, for it is the essence of who we are. We must pursue excellence, for education allows us to preserve our places as future leaders of tomorrow. With the wisdom of our tikkuna, it will guide our choices and our decisions. Let us walk together, my fellow peers, as we face the world of inequality. Let us stand on our feet and we're prepared to make a change. No te rodo, na ko te rodo. Being the leaders of tomorrow begins today. Te na koto, te na koto, te na koto.